All right, hello everyone. So in this video, we're gonna be going over how you can connect to Exibo. So Exibo, uh, once it's powered on, so we've put some batteries on the side to power it on here, and we can see uh, some information on the screen. Uh, Exibo generates a Wi-Fi hotspot network, and it also can connect to external networks, but that's uh, probably for a separate video. And it generates a Wi-Fi hotspot, and we love Wi-Fi because it's very fast. And Exibo makes a lot of data. It has a camera uh, stream that we can watch, and we can also watch an HDMI input on the device as well. So Wi-Fi allows us to do this really well. So what we want to do to get started, we've just finished setting up Exibo and we've powered it. Now we want to connect to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, on our phone. And again, you can use this across anything. So let's say that I'm using a computer or a tablet. It doesn't matter. It all works really well. Um, and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Wi-Fi settings and I'm going to try and connect to a device. And you can see that I've got two different Exibos here. Um, and what I can do is I can look at the side of my Xebo and I can see what the serial number is. It's written on the OLED screen. And in this case, it's the 411 Xebo. So I'm gonna try and connect to this. Uh, so uh, the password here is Xebo, all caps, one, two, three, four, five. And if we go and take a look at the password, that's it. And you can change this later if you have multiple Xebos or you want some security. Uh, so I'm gonna connect to this Wi-Fi network. Now, uh, because this connection doesn't have internet, uh, your phone may ask you, do you want to use this connection even though it doesn't have internet? Uh, so you can see mine is asking me, you just want to make sure that you say yes to this because uh, we don't need internet, we're trying to control the device. Uh, so we're going to say to always connect and now we're good to go. So now what you want to do is you want to open up a web browser. Uh, so uh, once you've opened up a web browser, you want to go in and you want to enter this IP address, 10.42.0.1 and we click enter on it and it's gonna load the user interface. Now, once the user interface is loaded, we can either access it through this or what we can do is we can add it to our home screen so that it acts more like an app. So we can click the add to home screen button and I'm gonna call this Exibo Studio and I'm gonna add. Uh, and what I can do now is I'm gonna go and on my home screen, I now have an app called Exibo Studio. I'm gonna open that and now I get a nice full screen experience with the app. So uh, now I'm connected. And if I was to power down Exibo, I would just go through the, and power it back up. I'd go through the same process again. I would just boot it up and connect to it and away we go. Uh, so let's quickly go over the basic features of the app. So what I can do is I can jog it around. So this joystick is always here at the side, no matter what we do, uh, it's there for us. We can use it to pan, uh, we can use it to slide. And there's also stepping functions uh, as well here that allow us to just move in more precise settings so we can move like very little 0.1 degree steps. Um, we can also access all of the other pages on the app. So let's take a look at some of the ones that are available in this update. Uh, first we have time lapse. Time lapse is what you would expect. There are advanced uh, and basic settings for just doing maybe some astrophotography or maybe you just want to do a quick time lapse of a site where you have people walking around. Um, the next thing is we also have keyframes. Keyframes are when we want to repeat two moves or we want to repeat multiple moves. And this is really good for product shots, visual effects, stuff like that. Uh, then we have tracking. This is the page that we want to use if we want to track someone. So we want to track someone moving around, maybe for a live stream or for an interview shot. Uh, we also have uh, interview features which are specific for interview. They just streamline the process a little bit, but you can do an interview with uh, the other features as well. Uh, we also have target switching. This is really cool for streaming. Uh, we can switch between preset targets and save them. Uh, and then finally, we have a settings page. Um, so uh, the settings page goes through all of the different settings that are available uh, on Exibo. Now, as a quick demo to get an idea of how the app works, we're gonna do a quick keyframes. I'm not gonna explain in detail. If you want the details of how this works, please check out uh, one of the next videos. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna set a location. So I'm gonna set the current position that we're at. Uh, and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pan to a new location. And uh, actually I'm gonna do some tilting as well. So I wanna look this way. Um, so maybe I just wanna do a, a nice smooth pan shot. That's my idea here. And I wanna set this position as well. So now I have two points set. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to controls. I'm gonna uh, put them on looping and then I'm gonna play it. Now what this is gonna do is it's going to run through those points. Uh, so the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna move to its first position. So that's what you see happening now. Uh, so it's moving to its first position. Uh, and then once it's in its first position, uh, it's gonna run through it. One of the things you'll notice is that in the top left of the screen, we're gonna always have some information printed there. Uh, and that's important to look at in, in case you're wondering what Exibo is doing. 
So that's the basics of the app. Again, you can do this from your PC. You can do this from a tablet. The experience is a little bit different. So if you go on the PC, you're gonna have more controls. Uh, same with a tablet. Um, but you can do just about everything from a phone. It's very quick and easy to go. And you can use it uh, as well side by side with the joystick. Um, so thanks a lot. And if you want details on the specifics of the app, please check out the other videos. Thanks.